Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button right below. And right next to it is a bell so you can get all of my notifications when I drop a new video. So as you can see, I am already done up. However, I do have my lounge shirt on because I am ready to wind down for the night. So instead of a get ready with me, this is a get on ready with me. All right, y'all. So instead of putting it all on, I am about to take it all off off and do my skincare regimen and everything so let me go ahead and get my makeup wipes and we're gonna get started I'm gonna be using are from Neutrogena. My box, I had this box for <laughs> I had this box for so many years. Do not pay attention to it. It's a little raggedy, but this is from Neutrogena, and it came. I think it, yeah, it originally came with um, some makeup wipes in it. But like I said, I've been having this for some years, so those makeup wipes are long gone, of course. And now all I do is buy the. Um, all I do is buy the refill packets and I refill the box. So these towelettes, I absolutely love these towelettes. I do use the um these these are the ones. Yeah, I do use the fragrant towels. The non-fragrant towels are oil free, and I tried to use that and did not work the same check. So I use the fragrance towelettes with the oil because it just gets it clean how I need it to. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the lashes. Okay, so if you or if y'all haven't noticed, I have been sorta in my A from the channel. And I'm gonna tell you why. So in the midst of everything that's been going on, the whole George Floyd situation, and before that it was the Ahmaud Arbery situation, and then Breonna Taylor, and shoot, just recently, uh, Rayshard Brooks, I hope I'm saying his name right, <sighs> it's just been a lot, and these lynchings that you're saying have been suicides, I don't know y'all, it's just been And dealing with that and hearing about that, it kind of, it kind of put me in a rut. Like, I was already in a, in a black hole and all of that didn't put me in a black hole. I was already, yeah, this just kind of like put the nail in the coffin. So, the reason why, the reason why I had not made any new videos is because I just wasn't in the video making mood. I couldn't feel, I, I didn't feel like I could create in the headspace that I was in, child. Like, all of this stuff's going on. People are dying at the hands of cops. And I know it's nothing new. It's been going on for years. I know that. But it was happening. The way it was happening, it was like facts, 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 and it was just a lot. So I'm not gonna touch on the subject long either because it's a very, very sensitive and touchy topic, touchy topic for me. So yeah, uh, with all of that happening back to back, it just put me in a very sensitive and just very negative, negative headspace, and I cannot create like that, y'all. I can't. I can't. I can't. So I just had to take some time off from recording and you know posting on social media. If it um, if I did post, it was about you know the situations that was that was going on, and that was about it. I couldn't I couldn't post about makeup and oh go watch my new YouTube videos while black people are out here being murdered. So I just I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. 
And another thing that has me so, uh, that just had me, or that had me very upset and just crying. I broke down like twice, y'all. Maybe, maybe even more than that, y'all. I just, I was breaking down left and right. My mood was never right, but the another cause of that is the simple fact that I have a black child. And not only is he a black child, he is a boy. So, raising a little boy in America is a child. Yeah, so he he's a little boy and as of right now, he is only one. But that is temporary, you know, like... He may, he's one and cute and cuddly right now, but to them, one day he will become what they call a threat. So that, just that thought in itself, just oh my goodness, it drove me insane. I was, ugh, I was freaking out. I was, I was freaking out. I was sad. I was angry. I was just not in a good place. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I became, you know, afraid and that is so not me. So I just knew that with something was happening to me, it went good. So I need to take this break. And my husband, he had to, you know, help pray me through that. He was there when I broke down. Um, and he honestly encouraged me to take a break because I was going to try to, you know, push through and keep going. But he, he definitely encouraged me to take a break because he saw the changes in my mood and in my, um, in my behavior as well. So he definitely, definitely encouraged me to take a break. And I, I appreciate it because I needed it. Now I feel much better. I'm back to myself. I wasn't worried about, um, no algorithms on YouTube or Instagram and you know being consistent it just it, it didn't matter it didn't matter my mental health was at stake and uh, on top of the injustices and the murders or whatever you know we still dealing with COVID so it's like <laughs> what is going on like 2020 come on now 2020 Lord have mercy I'm telling you after the new year Everything was all good. And then that tragedy happened with uh, Chloe Bryant and those other people. And oh my goodness, after that, it just it just went downhill. This is a little after that, here come COVID. We had a little bit more normalcy, like a month. <laughs> a month or maybe a month and a half of normalcy. And then it ain't been right since. <laughs> so... So yeah, that was a little update on me and what's been going on and what's been going on with me and why I haven't posted anything in like a week or a week and a half. Yeah, I was I was in that black hole, child. So I'm, I'm pretty good now. Um, I do feel like I'm back to myself, but you know everything is still in the back of my mind. Especially, you know, child or whatever. But I'm going to get through it with prayer. With prayer and the, you know, the support I've been getting from my husband. So, that's that. Enough of that. I don't like to talk about that subject for too long because it is such a sore spot. And I will get to crying like that. And I am done crying, child. So, that was the update on me but i am back i am doing but i am back and i am glad to be back it feels good to create again so i got everything off my face and now i'm going to use my cleanser and um, moisturize and I'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate as well and i will show you guys the products that i used okay. so i did my routine and I know I look pretty greasy or sweaty, but it looks sweaty. That's how you're supposed to look, 
child after you give your skin some TLC. So, I did start off with a cleanser. This is from Neutrogena, and it is a Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. I've used Neutrogena for years. Yeah, I've used Neutrogena for a long, long, long time, and I honestly haven't even tried to dibble and dab in other brands. I don't know. I guess I never just thought about it. Wasn't that important to me, but I am looking into some other brands, preferably some black-owned brands to try out, and honestly, I do have some black-owned brands right here that are part of my uh, skincare regimen. So... After I used the Neutrogena to wash off all the makeup and to give my skin a deep cleansing, I went ahead and exfoliated with this um, sugar scrub right here. This is from the Butter the Butter Bar Skincare, and it is uh, black owned. And this is called Pink and Grapefruit Watermelon Hydrating Sugar Scrub. It smells so good. It smells so good and it had my skin so, 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 so soft. So, um, oh, let me backtrack a little bit. You guys, especially for my girls who like to wear makeup, skincare is super, 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 super important. Um, I'm not gonna go off into it right now because that's a whole other video. But when I use my cleanser, I I put a good amount in my hand, let it lather up, and then of course, you know, started rubbing it, rubbing it, rubbing it in. I started rubbing it in down below and then working my way up now the key is to do that for at least a minute or close to a minute doing that rubbing it for like five seconds oh yeah it's clean no it's not sis no it's not <laughs> it's all of that is still all inside your pores all that gunk from the makeup and brushes and all that is still in there so uh rubbing that cleanser for a minute and if you can't do a minute at least 30 close 30 seconds close to a minute sis. So y'all yeah, make sure I rub that in for at least a minute. Put your timer on on your phone if that will um, that'll help you do it. And this, I do this for the sugar, the sugar scrub. I do this for a few seconds. And I mainly like to focus on my T-zone because that's the driest. Same. That's the driest in my face. So um, the cleanser first. And then I use the sugar scrub. Now um, you're only supposed to use this twice a week. So I choose, you know, Two random days that I that I want to do it. So tonight was the night because my skin was extra extra dry, or my T zone was extra extra dry. And then after that, I followed up with a moisturizer and this melanin skin nourishing serum that is also from the Butter Bar. That is all. Yeah, this is also from the Butter Bar. Um, all of their ingredients are super natural, by the way. So this one is supposed to last up to 90 days from the purchase date, and this is fresh up until six months so they are 100% natural organic so I mix this in with my moisturizer and with this you can apply you can apply three to four pumps in your hand and you can use it separate and you can also mix it with your um, whatever your moisturizer is now they do have a moisturizer Yes, they do have a moisturizer. I didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't get it. I went there and got a few things. Why didn't I get a moisturizer? Um, I don't know, I don't know, child. Maybe because I still had to do that and I wanted to use that up and I spent more money on moisturizer. I don't know. But, and that's it. That's basically my skincare regimen. I like to do my regimen at night. Um, in the mornings, if I need it, I will use some moisturizer and this. But that's basically Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This video was short and sweet. I wanted to give a quick update on where I've been and how I was feeling and the on all the craziness that's going on in the world right now. Um, drop a comment below and let me let me know how it's been where you are. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. I hope everyone is staying safe and quarantined if you can. And if you can't, I pray that everyone is using social distancing. Please, please, please wear your mask, you guys. This is, it's no joke. It's no joke. Even if you don't feel like you have symptoms, you can be asymptomatic. And you could be okay. But the next person that you interact with, you know, the next person you interact with, they may not be okay just because you are. So, um, 
let's just all let's just be smart and considerate to others and social distance practice wash your hands 